Hi, I'm Leslie Ludi. If you happen to be watching this video prior to March 20th, 2020, I encourage you to go to ellerslie.com and enter to win one of 12 full ride scholarships that we're giving away for our discipleship training programs in the summer and the fall of 2020. Ellerslie is an amazing place not only to grow spiritually, but also to cultivate lifelong Christ-centered friendships. So I hope you will go to ellerslie.com and learn more about this giveaway. God bless. Hi, I'm Leslie Ludi, and this is Becoming a Christ-Centered Friend, part three. In this video, I want to talk about how to have fun with your friends in a God-honoring way. Now, it's really easy to look at time with your girlfriends as just a time to let your guard down and relax and just sort of you're entitled to, you know, let it all hang out because you've been working hard all week or whatever. And when you get into that mode, it's really easy to put your spiritual life aside, put your Christianity aside and adopt the ungodly patterns that we see in the world all around us, whether that's gossip or just crude joking or watching things with your friends that are really ungodly, etc. We've probably all been in those kind of situations. And what does it mean to truly enjoy friendship and have fun with friends in a way that doesn't compromise your walk with Christ, doesn't compromise compromise your Christianity. I remember being at a bridal shower one time with a bunch of women who were trying to, you know, celebrate the fact that this girl was about to get married, but all they really did the whole night was sit around and gossip and bash their husbands and drool over Hollywood celebrities. It was a very a shallow, ungodly way to spend the evening. And I found it really ironic that it was a group of Christian women trying to celebrate and encourage someone who was about to step into marriage. There are so many better ways to spend time with friends in a God-honoring way. And a couple of the ones that I want to share with you have really impacted me as I've spent time with girlfriends because I've been on both sides of the spectrum. I've been in groups of, of women or when I was younger, you know, in high school, young adult years, where it was really all centered around gossip and trivial, trivial idol conversation. And I usually would walk away from those situations not feeling very uplifted, usually feeling kind of slimed, like I needed to recover spiritually from being in that situation. But I've also learned how to be with friends in a way that is really edifying and really spiritually uplifting. And a couple of the things that have helped me first and foremost, is to really look at the words that I'm speaking and what I'm listening to. Not to just dive into gossip because gossip is what's normal to do with girlfriends, but to guard our words and to realize that every idle word we speak, Jesus says, we will give account of it in the day of judgment. So this isn't something to be taken lightly. We need to be taking it seriously and saying, am I speaking words of life? Am I speaking words that agree with God's reality? So avoiding gossip and avoiding frivolous idle talk. And so what do you talk about if you're not going to gossip or if you're not going to talk about idle things? Well, one of the things that has been so beautiful in my godly friendships with other women is to focus on our relationship with Christ and building each other up in our faith, whether that's doing a Bible study together or talking about what God's teaching us, reading a Christian biography together, watching an edifying Christian film or Christian documentary together, or even doing a service project together, which whether it's baking something and delivering it to someone in need or working on a project that can bless someone else, really looking for ways to not only focus on our relationship with Christ and encouraging others in their faith, but spend time focused on eternally focused, eternally oriented activities with your friends. I have so enjoyed meeting with a couple of my friends on a weekly basis, and we usually go through a Christian biography during the week, and then when we meet together, we talk about what we're learning from this person's life and what about their walk with God really inspired us. Something that simple, you would think, well, that's not the same as watching a chick flick. You know, that's not the same as binge watching a TV show with your friends. It's not the same, but it's so much more edifying. I walk away from those times with my friends feeling truly spiritually uplifted and strengthened in my relationship with Christ. And really, like we said in the first video, our goal in every friendship should be to point the other person to Christ. And in the friendships that we engage in, if they're drawing us deeper into a closer relationship with Christ, that means those friendships are healthy. So I encourage you to avoid gossip, avoid idle frivolity and just meaningless banter about you know what's going on in Hollywood and really focus on how do we build each other up in our faith and how do we focus on things that will last and matter in light of eternity. I hope this video series has encouraged you and I would, the, the final thing that I would like to leave you with is that as you build your relationship with Jesus Christ, as you grow in him, 
he will naturally work his character through you and shape you into a God-honoring, Christ-centered friend. God bless. Remember, if you're seeing this video before March 20th, you can still enter to win one of our 12 full ride scholarships that we're giving away right now to our 2020 summer and fall Ellerslie Discipleship Training Programs here in Colorado. It's an amazing place to grow deeper in your walk with Christ and to build lifelong God-honoring friendships. Go to ellerslie.com to learn more. God bless.